Hello everyone. I am sitting here in my living room again and it's very bright outside so I'm trying not to squint but if I'm squinting a little bit, I'm sorry. I have very sensitive eyes. I should literally just like get some sunglasses on and do this with my sunglasses on but that would be a first and it would be weird but maybe it wouldn't be weird. But I'm not gonna do that. Today I'm just gonna be talking all about my beauty favorites. It's been two months since my last beauty favorites video and I've been loving so many products. I actually had to like really like think about which ones I needed to feature because I had so many things that I wanted to talk about but this would be like a two hour documentary on my favorites so let's not do that. Um, I guess I'm gonna start with skincare because that's, I love skincare. Um, first thing I need to mention and I don't think I've mentioned this in a video before but it's the May Lindstrom um, The Honey Mud Mask. Um, it says it's a gentle enzyme cleanser and mask. I personally don't use this as a cleanser, I use it as a mask. It is gorgeous. Like it's one of, oh my gosh, it's one of the most beautiful skincare products I've ever used in all of my years as a beauty blogger. It's truly something remarkable. I have been into May Lindstrom skincare since around December, I um, bought a bunch of stuff when I was at that um, um, natural beauty store in New York, which is called Cap Beauty. So I had a mind blank and I couldn't remember, but it's called Cap Beauty. And um, yeah, I, I've never really tried a mask that's this texture before. It really is the texture of mud, but also smells like chocolate. And it's just like the most unique consistency. And when you put it on your face, it feels kind of heavy and it dries but it doesn't like it doesn't like harden and like make your skin feel tight or anything but it, it does like cleanse your face and it makes your skin feel so so soft like this mask is like hard to describe because it's like nothing I've ever tried before so if you want a new mask and you feel like you've tried every single mask on the market I highly 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 recommend this one. I feel like it would be good for so many different skin types as well because it's just like made from natural ingredients and it's just a beautiful product. So May Lindstrom, I love you. My um, face cream that I have been using for a few months now is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. This is actually an old favorite. I feel like maybe I've mentioned it before. I'm not sure, but I wanted to mention it again because I've been falling back in love with it. It is a really lightweight consistency. It's almost like no, it's, it's, a, it's a light cream. I was going to say it's kind of like a gel consistency, but yeah, it's kind of like a creamy gel, I would say, and it's very lightweight, but it's still ultra hydrating. I've actually been using this in the morning and in the evening because at nighttime, I haven't really been wanting to have like a super rich, heavy cream on my face because it is getting a little bit warmer. Um, but yeah, oh, it says time release hydro patches. Did not know that. I don't even know what a hydro patch is, but... Um, Smells amazing like rose. You guys know I love fresh skincare and this has just been like the face cream of dreams. It's a great like, just like good moisturizer. I guess I'll talk about this other fresh product since I'm talking about fresh. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is um, in limited edition packaging and I think it's a bigger bottle as well. It's 200 milliliters. Um, I've probably used 15 or more of these soy face cleansers over the years. It's just an amazing all-rounder cleanser. It's something that I recommend to all my friends and family. If people are like, I need a new cleanser, what should I get? This is the first one I always mention. Um, it is, it smells like cucumber and rose and it's really like deep cleaning, but it's also very hydrating at the same time. It doesn't leave your skin feeling tight at all. And I just love it and I wanted to recommend it because it's just like such a staple in my skincare routine. The last skincare item I have to talk about are these really cool little things. They're the Elizabeth Arden, I don't know how to say this, ceramide, ceramide capsules. Um, I have gone through an, ent uh, an entire little thing of this and then I have a big bottle and I've just been refilling my little bottle just for like convenience sake. But um, these are these tiny little capsules like this, and they're filled with like, it's like an oily, serum-y kind of texture. Um, the reason I've been loving these so much is because they're amazing for traveling. If I am going away and I wanna bring like something really nourishing and really hydrating and I don't wanna bring a huge bottle, I'll literally just take, however, if I'm going away for two, four, five days, I'll literally just like take a few of these, put them in a bag, and then that's my 
like face oily serum thing covered. They are incredible. And this little thing has enough to cover your entire face. So it's just like the most convenient little thing. Plus it's like super fun to use. You just like rip it apart and then put it on your hands and apply it. And it's just like so cute. I don't know. I feel like a little mermaid whenever I'm using that. That might not make sense to you, but I feel like they look like little mini seashells. Before I get into the makeup products, I thought I would just do a couple of body things. So my body lotion of choice lately has been the Caudalie Nourishing Body Lotion. I've actually used about this much, but it was just laying on the ground and you can't see. But I've used about, I would say, this much of it. It's a huge bottle of it as well. It's 400 milliliters. I just keep it on my bathroom counter and as soon as I get out of the shower, it's just like head to toe moisturization. Gotta keep that skin feeling soft. Um, I like this because it has a beautiful scent, but it's not overpowering at all. It's just really light and pretty and oopsies, I just spilled it. Um, but well, now that I've done this, you can see the texture is a light lotion. And again, that's kind of what I've been into. I haven't really been wanting to put like really thick, heavy creams on my face or my body lately, but I do still need the hydration because I am dry like my body skin is dry and my face skin is dry and my eyes are dry I'm just a dry person um <laughs> that's maybe info you didn't need to know but yeah um i love this body lotion basically at the end of the day that's what it comes down to um also a hand cream i've been obsessed with um is the keels ultimate strength hand salve and i tried this in a bathroom once uh, in like a hotel they had this um hand cream my phone's ringing, sorry. Um, and I tried it and I was like, ooh, that is lovely. I love that it's a salve. I don't even know like what defines a salve from a cream, but I, it feels like a little richer. And I have been using this before bedtime um, on my hands and around my cuticles. And I also put it on my feet. Not every night, but like every two to three nights, I just put it on my feet as well um, because it's so thick and nourishing and I have you guessed it, dry hands and feet. I think these also come in different scents as well. Um, I could be making that up, but I don't know, but I will link to the scent that I have. It's very like, kind of smells like medicinal, but I love that. And I have to give a shout out to the Mio, 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 Liquid Yoga Space Spray. So I love the Liquid Yoga for in the bath. You can just like put a little bit of the, um, that stuff in the water and it is so relaxing. I can literally just like take my mind to that space. I'm gonna take a bath with it this weekend. But um, this is like next level relaxation. You spray your room. Oh my goodness gracious me. It smells so good. And when you're in the bathtub and you spray your bathroom with this and you've got the bubbles and you got the oils and you got your hair mask in and you got this in the air, it's literally like, Nothing can penetrate this relaxation. And if you are just like a relaxation queen or king, like I love relaxation, this is gonna take your relaxation routine to the next level. It's so good. I should say it smells kind of minty. It smells like the liquid yoga. Um, if you've never smelled that, it smells kind of like minty and eucalyptus-y maybe kind of. On to makeup. I have to mention the Buxom Tahiti bronzer. I couldn't remember if I featured this in my last one, but I just love this bronzer with all of my soul. It is the most gorgeous color. It is kind of like sheer, like when you, your brush doesn't pick up too much of it, if that makes sense. I feel like there's a little slight shimmer, but it's like a satin finish. And I use this as a bronzer all over my face, and I also use it as an eyeshadow a lot. Um, I was recommended this by my friend Katie Jane Hughes, and she never gives me a bad recommendation. So yeah, highly recommend that bronzer. It's great if you want like bronze, but like also a little glow. It's great. Um, another recommendation from Katie actually, and she gave me this. It's the Bodyography glitter pigment um this is the shade stellar but she gave me a bunch of colors and i love them all they're so fun and um this one i put a little bit on today like sorry i just have so much lotion on me i can't even open this um i put a little on my eye um, on my eyes today but not very much because i have to like go out to meetings and don't want to be like going crazy here but maybe i'll put a little more on before i go um they're just super pigmented glitters and they stay put and they're so 
pretty. I'm going to swatch a couple shades for you just so you can see, but they're really amazing. I don't know where you can get these off the top of my head because she gave them to me, but I will link to them down below because they're so good. If you like glitter, which like who doesn't like glitter, like these might be a necessity for you. I feel like it might be. Um, mascara, I've been really, really, really into the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. It's just so great. It's a, It looks simple, looks like a, just a standard simple wand, and it is, which is partially why I love it so much, because it's just like an easy wand, but the formula is amazing. It really coats all of your lashes. Somebody told me that there's like, I don't know if it's biotin or like something in this that helps to grow like helps your eyelashes to grow. I don't know if that's true or if that was just like a false rumor, but um, I don't even care about that. I just know that it just makes your lashes look really beautiful and really like volumized and it also lengthens them a lot. This is a great mascara. Kind of a simple one, but this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade Smog. It's a beautiful bronzy eyeliner and I've just been smudging this into my lash line pretty much every single day. It's not like... You can like make it look a little more um, like it, you can make it stand out a little bit more, but I've just been putting it on and then like smudging it in. So it just gives like a little shadow um, on my lash line. So it just like helps to define my lashes a little bit more. So yeah, I love that. Um, and then the, oh, I'll mention this. This is um, a cream, well, it's called a multi-use stick, I guess, from a brand called Vapor, which is a green beauty brand. Um, and this is the shade 202. And I've just been loving this because it's super easy. You just stick it on your cheeks. Get it? Stick it on your cheeks because it's in a stick. Huh. Um, put it on. Blend it in. Bob's your uncle. Love it. And then the last two products are going to be lip products. There is an airplane outside. Hello, people on the airplane going somewhere. Um, might just wait for that to pass. Right, so this is the product I have on my lips today. It is the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss Stick. This is the shade Nudist. This is an old favorite of mine, uh, and I still love it. I love the formula. It's super creamy, really moisturizing. Great, just like nude color. Goes with every makeup look, and it's just like one that I always kind of have been chucking in my bag. It's really, really good. You can get that at Boots. And um, this is the last thing. It's the Lancome Labsolu Lacquer. Okay, guys, I love the Labsolu Lacquers. Like, I don't like them. I literally love them. When my mom and my cousin were here, I was like, guys, you've got to try these Labsolu Lacquers. Like, put it on. My cousin doesn't wear any, like, lip gloss or lipstick or anything like that. And she's like, no, nah, I don't want to try it. I was like, just put it on your lips and see what see how it feels. And she went out and bought three colors when she got home. I kid you not, she did. She bought three separate colors. And I felt pretty good about that because I just want the world to know about these Labsolu lacquers. They're the most unique formula. Lisa Eldridge um, formulated these, I guess, and she has created so many amazing colors. This color that I've been into is 216, but I also love their nude shades. The thing about this that's so unique is like, it's a, it's a completely new formula. It's like, not a stain, but it's kind of a stain. It's not as thick as like a lip paint, but it's also not sticky, but it's glossy. It's so weird and it's so great. And what I've been doing, because it does have a little bit of shine, is just having like very little makeup and then just like really layering on this and like make the lips the focus. And it's so pretty, it's so comfortable on the lips and it fades so naturally. So I, yeah, I just had to mention that. I love it. I think that's everything. I think that's it. I feel like I really sped through that, which is good because I thought this was gonna be a really long video. Um, but yeah, I am going to leave you here. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites video. Let me know what you've been loving or if you've tried any of these products and I will see you in my next video. Bye.